very rough start. Doing Theresa May here. It's big shoulder pads. And she has this stoop. It can be a cruel business politics. Flaws are magnified, exploited and mocked. Little bump in her nose. Always looks a bit unhappy. Not surprising. For Christian Adams of the Evening Standard, 2018 has been a vintage year, which ended with the PM barely hanging on to her job. Ongoing chaos, which is brilliant for cartoonists. It's like from with Theresa May, because, because she is a woman, and at the very beginning when she was Home Secretary, I did get complaints saying it was misogynistic, my cartoon, and I said, she's a politician. It doesn't matter if she's a woman or a man. Anyway, she chose to be Prime Minister, so I would have no sympathy for her whatsoever. <laughs> A view his boss, George Osborne, may share. After all, they worked together until Mrs May sacked him. When the former Chancellor became editor of The Standard, he hired the artistic equivalent of a hitman to target his former colleagues. So here's the Theresa May as the conservative dog and Jacob Rees-Mogg as the tail wagging the dog. A very powerful image. So he is the gift that I suspect is going to keep on giving. This was their attempted coup that went wrong. This is the gunpowder plot, but no one brought the matches. Is he able to say things that you would like to say but don't want your fingerprints on? Well, of course, he's an artist. He comes up with his own ideas, uh, and we discuss them every morning. Uh, and sometimes a single picture can capture more than a 1,000 words. Does he ever... Tell you to ease off or no. put the boot in? Or? No, I, I don't get any interference. Of course, Jeremy Corbyn takes a bashing too, and Donald Trump is an irresistible subject. They're just a very effective tool for poking fun at the politicians. And of course, now I'm sitting in a newspaper office rather than being a politician. I'm all for poking fun at politicians. I'm always trying to encourage uh, Christian to, you know, poke things up a bit, whether it's the Labour Party, the Conservative Party, the Americans. Osborne is in a unique position, having been lampooned countless times in his former job, including by the cartoonist he now employs. It is very strange, caricaturing somebody for six years, I think it was, and then suddenly he's standing next to me, uh, uh, looking at my cartoon. He's very strange, yes. Very surreal. <laughs> The thing about politicians is they complain about being in cartoons, but they, there's one thing that's worse than being in cartoons, okay. and that's not featuring in cartoons. Yeah, yes. Are there times, and be honest here, when you see something that he's done with Theresa May, where you just rub your hands with delight, where you think, yes? No, I'm looking, I, you know, I approach this as an editor who wants the newspaper to set the agenda for the country and wants to inform its readers. Christian's most popular cartoon of the year also featured May and Rhys Mogg, mimicking the style of a David Hockney painting, which had just been sold for a record sum. A lot of people like this one, and it was great fun to do, but we have a very um, tight deadline. So I had to basically draw a David Hockney in three hours. With 2019 likely to provide much, much more material, Britain's cartoonists won't be stumped for inspiration. Ian Woods, Sky News.